You can use DBMS redefinition to change the tables in your database without downtime of that object. You can do the changes while users are still querying and doing DML on the table. Only at the very end of the redefinition process, the database needs to take a very small lock on the table while it finishes the redefinition. And the amount of time that the logging needs to take is not depending on the table size, but more depending on the amount of changes that comes into that table. You can also do uh, bulk updates with DBMS redefinition. If you need to update all the columns in a huge table, that can be very cumbersome to do. Uh, but with DBMS redefinition, you can do bulk updates without any logging as well. DBMS redefinition requires enterprise edition. This is a list of some of the use cases that you can use DBMS redefinition for. What I really like is the option to convert from the old basic file log format and then into the new better secure file log format. Some of the options nowadays can also be, be performed with an alter table statement and then still online, but with re, but with re, sorry, but with DBMS redefinition, you can take a lot of changes and then bundle them together in one update. You can go to a new table space, you can compress, you can reorder the columns, you can use partitioning and so forth and do that in one operation, in one redefinition process. That I really like. So how does it work? From a conceptual point of view, something like this. The users are connected to the database and they are using the original table. They're doing queries and they're doing DMLs, insert, update, and delete. Then you start the redefinition process by creating an empty interim table. The interim table looks similar to the original table, but now you can implement the changes that you want. You can add columns, reorder columns, compress whatever you want. Do that on the interim table. And now the database will then do an initial load and take all the records from the original table and put them into the interim table. After that, it'll create an internal materialized view and use the materialized view logs to take the changes from the original table and then synchronize them into the interim table. Then when you are ready to finish the redefinition process, the database will take a very small lock on the original table and then in the background, switch those two tables. There won't be any copying of data at this point in time. It is just flipping a few switches in the database data dictionary. And now you can start to use the interim table as if it was the original table. If something goes wrong during the redefinition, you can resolve that error. And in most of the cases, the process is fully resumable. It'll simply pick up from where it left. Also with DBMS redefinition, there is a really cool rollback mechanism that you can enable on your redefinition process. If you enable rollback, then even after a successful redefinition, you can still roll back to the original table because the database will then use the same materialized view log to send the changes from the new original table into the original table. So you get really good fallback capabilities. But in order to do this, we need more disk space. We are building a copy of the table, so we need twice the amount of disk space for that object. And if you are adding more columns, we need a little more disk space on that to hold the new columns. When the redefinition process completes and you are not using the rollback option, the original table is dropped, so that space is reclaimed. But if the data file has been extended, then the high watermark is also, has also been extended, so you cannot shrink the data files back again. If that is a problem to you, you should use uh, new table spaces for the process. Because we are building a copy of the table, this also means that there is an increased redo uh, generation, which will put more uh, archive logs into your fast recovery area. Your archive backups will be slightly bigger, and the standby database will also need to apply more changes.